Uh, so I watched Overboard again recently. It's that classic Kurt Russell, Goldie Hawn flick. Uh, they did a lot of movies together, so the official reviews of that movie reflect the fact that fact. Uh, but I think it's held up over the years. Um, if you don't know about the film, Kurt Russell plays a handyman named Dean who gets stiffed on some work by Joanna Staten, but she falls overboard. Roll credits. She loses her memory and basically, ki and he basically kidnaps her and forces her to work for him in as his quote unquote wife until she pays back, pays off the debt. It's that classic 1980s criminal morality. Well, he kidnapped and enslaved her, but only until she paid off what he was owed. Felonious premises aside, the film is actually quite good at showing the importance of a complete family and the value of the various roles within that family. When Annie, Goldie Hawn, comes into his life, his house is a mess and his kids are out of control. Slowly but surely, she gains proficiency in keeping house, feeding the kids, and most importantly, calling out Dean when he's in the wrong. She accurately points out all the problems within the family and holds Dean to account for things like the oldest son constantly jacking it. The youngest kid can't read, and that's an issue. She falls perfectly into the role of a good, loving wife, which in turn made Dean a better person. Dean and his friend Billy had been talking about designing a mini golf course for years, but thanks to Annie's involvement, they stopped talking about it and started being about it. And that's the ideal when it comes to relationships between men and women. We complement each other. We make each other better. We make each other more than the sum of our parts. Dean was a single dad before in the beginning of this movie, and his house and family were in disarray. And Joanna didn't want children at the beginning of the movie. And she was a bitch with no perspective about how most people live. And obviously, the main moral of the story is how a spoiled woman learned empathy by being forced to live in a lower middle class family. But the second moral of the story is the fact that Dean and Annie made a good couple. And there's no denying the love story of it all. I'm man enough to admit it. Despite all the laws that Dean broke, there's romance to it all. Men and women make each other better. And this movie shows that the traditional roles of the family are the ideal way for people to live and to raise children. Those prophet boys were in desperate need of a woman's influence at the beginning of the film. And that's why that principal lady showed up to Dean's house. The cult classic felonious love story overboard. 10 of 13 stars. I loved it when you glued Joey, Joey to the toilet seat. Also, how come n not one person, every time somebody said, you know, he only talks like Pee Wee Herman, talking about the, the kid who always talked about pe like Pee Wee Herman. <clears throat> not one person in the entire film said, really? That sounds nothing like Pee Wee Herman. And then you could have a running gag, you know, in the family with everyone trying to, trying to perfect a perfect Pee Wee Herman. Ha <laughs> ha. You know, and that could be a running gag. Because the kid's not doing it right. That kid sounds nothing like Pee Wee Herman. 